Unfortunately for Lester in that last one, he's the sad and Mark's the happy. Well, he's got himself ninth place. He picked up a thousand points and a, you know about a thousand marks. So you know he can uh, put that in his little kitty and head off to uh, the next one in Mexico. I actually think that's his strongest result of the year. So um, he was looking for a strong result to stay in the top sixteen. So right, it's pretty good. That's a good position to be in. And um, I dare say, like a ninth here, and you know maybe another ninth uh, in the next couple of events will will guarantee his um top 16 place. Yeah, beautiful. All right, well, we're into the next one, folks. Magno Passos from Brazil is in the red singlet. Sam Bennett from Australia is in yellow. Want to say a big shout out to a few people. We've got, uh, of course, all the crew from PNBA up there in uh, Port Macquarie watching the action. There's a nice little shot of the uh, crowd. And uh, yeah, g'day to uh, Margo, uh, Margo Bennett, all, oh, all the gang. Eh? Yeah, she'd be on Facebook, wouldn't she? Oh, she'd be watching for sure. <laughs> yeah, she's and, great. And uh, also, I know that uh, some guys, you know, Nelson may have been watching as well, sent some texts through before, including uh, Kane Brewer and all the grommets from Boxy. G'day to you guys. And uh, of course, my Boxy mate, boys. Uh, Juan Santos. Oh, Juan. Yeah, the old Juan. He's, uh, he's not here this year, but we miss him. Yeah, I saw him actually the other day. It was good to see him. It is good to see one, and uh, he'll be in Venezuela and uh, Puerto Rico, so that's all good. So, Rhett, we're just waiting for uh, the boys to open up their uh, heat here. Uh, all like righty -oh. So here we've got Magno Passos, little opener. Oh. Wow, look at that. That's, that's unusual, but I liked it. Spin out of the first bowl and looking to build on that with probably a roll to complete it. A couple of spins in between. Oh, nice. Come on, mate. You've got to try and finish this off to make it a strong wave. Come on, what have you got? Come on, bad boy. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> oh, the waves is dying on yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, Getting away from him. Unrewarded finish, but how was the uh, the athleticism at the start of that thing? Yeah. More than anything, Magno Passos, there he is from Brazil, to rank 25, taking on Sammy Bennett, the kid from Port Macquarie, rank number four. So uh, you, you mentioned earlier, you know, that Magno's a real contest savvy kind of a guy, but watch yeah. his first move. This is just... So agile. He just, this is to get just out of this section. A bossy, a Boom. big bossy invert. Yeah. Wasn't it? He yeah, just, it was that was good. his, so his core strength is amazing, this guy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually really um, interesting to see how good the Brazilians are going on tour. Um, and just like the amazing uh, amount of them. Like there's so many different um, styles that are getting on tour these days. You got your small wave guys, you got your big wave guys like Magno and stuff like that. But they're all so versatile and you can never underestimate them in a heat. And uh, here we got Sammy Bennett. You know, we're looking to um, open his uh, account with a bit of a ride. We've got Margot watching back home, giving him, um, giving him a bit of luck. And yeah. uh, you, see, you saw that last photo between the two. Like, um, he looks like such a bad boy, doesn't he? Eh? <laughs> you know what? He, he, he's, a, he's a great kid. And I'm really proud of, uh, of uh, Sam Bennett. He's uh, yeah. got in the top 24. He's ticked all the boxes on his uh, way through to, uh, he, to where he is right now. Totally. Yeah, he's uh, you he know ribs. he went through for the club level, through the state, the national Aussie tour, mm -hmm. and he's he, he really deserves to be here. And like you said, Ben, a very technical rider. Yeah, very technical rider. Um, you know, I, I aspire to surf like him in a lot of things. And um, but there we got scores dropping for Magno for that first wave. I'm um, talking about aspiring to be like someone. How was that invert giving him a seven point three eight, which is really good. I wish I had the agility to do something like that off a small wave, but for some reason I just can't seem to get my booty out out. Like that. But, um, yeah, maybe I need to get a bit more booty. Yeah. Woo, yeah, we love a bit of booty. Hey, uh, I want to say good day to uh, Scotty the Work Guy. Also, just sent me a text from down uh, under. Scotty. He said, how was Lester and McCarthy's heat? Woo. <laughs> yeah, huh? boys are all loving it. They're up uh, in Australia. It's uh, getting late back home. But, uh, you know, we've got people from all around the world. Jump on the Facebook page. Manny Vargas will be back after this heat. And uh, he'll go through and give you guys a shout out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manny's good with that, with the social media side of it. I try and be good, try and answer all my emails and stuff like that on there. But, it's yeah, it's, it's a great way to communicate with everyone, isn't it, hey? Yeah, it's so good, man. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm very impressed with your picture of Jared Houston earlier. Oh, are you? Yeah. yeah you've got some artistic skills there, yeah, haven't you, mate? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, yes. You're a very yes. left brain sort of a man, aren't oh, you? Oh, left and right. <laughs> oh, you know it. <laughs> He's ambidextrous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder actually what side of the brain you use to surf. I've never actually thought about oh, that. Oh, you'd have to use the left-hand side because it's creativity, really, isn't it? You know, you just mm. – it's oh. not a lot of logic in there. Because I wonder if, like, the different styles use different parts. Yeah, yeah, that that's right. The more technical kind of people would be uh, the right side and the more creative and spontaneous would be the left. Yeah, how's that? Yeah, yeah. That'd be interesting. I always get off on that kind of uh, – you know, the science of things and how it all kind of works. Yeah, yeah. It's great, the, the old hemisphere of the brains. I think I'm just smack down, bang down the middle. Oh, Maybe yeah? at the back. No, yeah. I'm not left <laughs> or right. I'm just sort of like back, <laughs> not front. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right, here we go. Using the left side of his brain, having a bit of a paddle right here. 
Yeah, it's not looking like the best waves. Mm. Good option to pull out. It went a bit too quick. Um, good section of the sandbar that he's sitting on right there, though, I think, because a bit further down, um, the sections look a little bit heavier and like they're running off a little bit more. Sam must have caught a wave in the meantime. We didn't actually get a chance to see that wave. Here we've got a replay of it. Sammy having a bit of a paddle on this little left. And um, looks like a nice clean face. Probably looking to flip out of that. Really nice one, Sammy. That was smart. Good opener. Not sure if it's going to be as good as Magno's opener with a 7.38, but that's still a good opener and a good way to start your heat, mate. And you've got to start somewhere and build from that. So well done, mate. Yeah, he didn't have much room to move and he managed to squeeze in something pretty solid. A uh, 4.25 uh, first of yellow. So Sam Bennett, you know, pegging back Magno Passos from Brazil in that one. Coming up next, we're going straight into the men's quarterfinals. Uh, Guilherme Termiga from Brazil taking on Alex Uranga. What are your thoughts on that one? Well, I was just having a chat to Winnie actually this before, uh, just after his last heat where he got eliminated by Alex. And um, it's really important this heat for Winnie because uh, it's, you know, GT um, is in contention for the world title as well as Winnie, Jeff Hubbard and Mitch Rollins. And me until yesterday. But, um, yeah, so it's actually, like, really important. If Alex win makes, wins this next heat, it's going to make it really difficult for Glemmy to win. So it's really, really important here for GT. Wow. So it's going to be good to see what and he comes up with. And you know what? With. They had a little stoush earlier in this contest, I heard about they? that, yeah. Yeah, so yeah it was pretty, it was pretty so crazy. A little bit of a grudge match. I went match. saw Alex Younger after it. Hey, look, just I will continue with this story after this interview. But let's throw down to Natasha Zagardia, who's talking with Mark McCarthy, the Yo, winner of the she. previous heat. And here we are with Mark McCarthy from South Africa. He just, he's excited. I guess he's very excited. And we were talking about the, the heat before with the South African, about the level and how good they are and how they are killing it. And now we have another winner from South Africa as well. Are you feeling happy? Yeah, I'm very uh, thrilled to get through that one. It was uh, just a battle. It was a battle between like a crash of the titans. Yeah, Les is a, he's a titan of a, a human. He's just so hard to compete with. and. Uh, He's a machine, you know, he's a competition machine, and uh, to get him today was a, always, always going to be a difficult challenge, so I'm just glad to get through this one. And um, you think, like, like, you were lucky with that last wave, like the big barrel and a good roll? We almost thought that you were going to get pinched on inside of it. Yeah, I mean, I knew when Lisa took off on that first wave, I thought he would definitely get the score, and, you know, thank God there was way behind that one. I was just, oh, so happy, and I, I knew it looked, looked, looked like I had a good shape on it, and I just tried to get into the barrel and stay in the barrel as long as possible. And it did pinch me twice, and I almost got sucked out the back, and then it just led me out at the last second there, and I was just like, oh, I knew I, I might have got the score, you know, because I knew he definitely got the score. So you're facing now Jeff Harbour in the quarterfinals. How do you feel about that? Yeah, good. Jeff's a good mate, and uh, it doesn't get easier for him, yeah. It's like every hit is difficult, and from now on, it, like, the level is absolutely incredible. So, um... Keep, you know, keep focused, keep finding the waves, keep asking God to send you uh, the waves. And do you want to say a big message for your family back home? Yeah, a big message for everyone back home. Uh, just love you guys lots and thanks for supporting. Hope luck like and uh, to fight it out to the finals. Yeah, so Booty keeps going and we keep going, you know, cheering for all of them because we can't have favorites really, but maybe we have, you know. So good luck, keep going, Three, a lot of strength and let's go back to you, Terry. Thank you very much, Natasha Sagardia, Ben Player, once again doing some beautiful, art, some beautiful artistry. That is Mark McCarthy, and Ben, you, are, and that's Jared Houston. Yes, he's uh, he's got some skills. This kid, he's not just a pretty face. He's not just one of the world's best bodyboarders. He can pencil some pretty good stuff as well. Well, uh, while we're having a bit of a chat there, there's a, a couple of ways I believe might have been written. Uh, we'll see. If we can dig back into the hard drives and. So we can uh, dig up some stuff that may have gone down uh, whilst uh, Natasha was talking. But interesting, uh, uh, a little point there where, you know, Mark McCarthy said he's up against Jeff Hubbard in the next one. Mm -hmm. And coming back to that original uh, story that we spoke uh, beforehand, Ben, was the uh, stash between Yuranga and GT where a couple of heats ago, folks, there was a, a bit of jostling in the lineup, And in fact, Alex Yuranga did get an interference against GT and now they're out there against each other. Yep. And uh, when you put a Basque guy and a Brazilian together, you can expect fireworks. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. And then we've got Magno, <laughs> the Brazilian guy, uh, doing a little bit of a roll, pulling out. Uh, this is what happened during the break just with uh, Natasha and Mark and Mark, uh, Magno catching another wave. Ooh, <clears> how's the invert. Jeez, he's agile, isn't he, this isn't bloke, he? isn't he? Hey, to get air out of that section is really, really complicated to do. Um, we're waiting for scores to drop for that. Sam did catch another... Oh, no, Sam actually has caught some more waves, but we're waiting for the replay from those. But, 
Yeah, so these next heats actually for uh, Mark and Jeff, mm. that's really important for Jeff. Super. So important. And for GT. Yeah. Like, that's... You I know, think it, it all comes down to these it, last few events. It does. And you know what? For GT folks, I think if he doesn't get past your hunger in his seat, that might spell the end of his campaign for this year. That's what, yeah, that's what Winnie said. I just didn't really yeah. want to say. And here we got a replay oh, of Sam. That was good. Technical riding at its very best. That was a beautiful flip. Nice and smooth. Cross legs. I wish I could do them like that, but I can't. That was really good. That, and here we got Sammy with another wave. It's a good little clean section. See the bowl on that? Yeah. Going for another backflip. Um, not as clean as the other one. Um, didn't come out of it as nicely, but still two pretty good waves. And uh, the scores have dropped for those two waves with a 6.25 for the first flip and a 5.45 for the second flip. flip. Um, like I said, uh, you know, that first flip was really nice and the judges really liked that with a 6.25. <clears throat> and here we got uh, Magna having a bit of a paddle on this one. Set wave. If he can get a oh, good idea, just managed to run away from him a little bit too much. But uh, good idea there, Magno. Um, if, you, if Magno got a barrel like that that stayed open and yep. you know kept running, that's like yep. a nine to ten point ride. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Today. Well, what's happened now is uh, first priority's gone back to Sammy Bennett in yellow, and plenty of time to go in this heat, folks. It's uh, about eighteen and a half minutes on the clock, and uh, Sam Bennett needing a five point nine seven. That is not that's much right. at all. Not much at all. Not much at all. If he just does another flip like that other one, it'll move him up into first. So, come on, buddy. Come on, eh? What do you got for the boyos? It's sometimes the worst thing, like when you, you when you know you, you're so capable of getting that score and you can do it and you're just waiting for that wave and you try and catch anything you can catch. Here we go. Just like Sam right now, like pumping into this little section. He's definitely going to be looking for a flip on it. Nice one, mate. That was good. That was definitely stronger than your last flip. So you're looking to beat a 5.45, which I dare say you would have got on yeah. that last wave. Well, he was chasing a 5.97. You've got to be thinking that's going to be uh, falling up in a 6.5s or 7s. Very yeah. close. Very, Very close. Very close. Here's the replay. Nice takeoff. Drew a beautiful line. He just he saw this section a mile away. You could read that one. It X marks the spot. <laughs> and bam, over he goes. Cross legs. All yeah. of Boxes ticked. Yeah, yeah, all the boxes You've got to be thinking he's nice. going to move into first with that wave. At least very close. Very close. Probably wasn't as good as his other one, but going to come close. 21 years of age. Yeah. Are you kidding he's me? In, he's in his prime. He's loving it. He's having a great time. Hi, mate. You know what? I really love to see Sam in the pipe competition earlier this year. He was surfing so good through the whole way through that event, surfing like a real master of pipe and um, picking the best waves, riding the best waves, and... You know, match the way you make it the whole way to the final. And it's really good to see these young guys, you know, actually um, actually doing that, like surfing really well on these heavy waves and all stuff like that. Hold and there we got, hold the, hold the phone, Tez. <laughs> hold the phone. That was an 8.13. Sammy Bennett's gone into the lead. Magno on the back foot. The Brazilian now chasing a 7.01. What a great little seesawing battle this is, Bennett. That is, mate. Yeah, yeah. I love these kind of things. Magno, looking for that barrel like what we were talking oh, about earlier. That was Getting nice. it. That is a beautiful barrel. Oh! He didn't get it. He didn't get the roll. He didn't get the roll. That could come back and bite him because that start of that wave oh, looked really, Magno. really good. That was a beautiful tube, though. Jeez, it would be interesting to see how the judges award that tube because that was a beautiful tube. Probably the best tube we've seen of the event so far. What do you yeah, reckon? really nice. Yeah, he set that up perfectly. And like you said, the... Uh, the lines that Magno draws are so beautiful. And watch this line into this barrel. It's perfect. Just waits for it. Comes up. Just trimming through it. Perfect distance inside it. Manages to push out at the last second. Looking for a roll. Oh, I think he just got straight rocked. on his head. What do you call that again, Tez? That uh, that's slap? a move that was made famous by Ross Hawke back oh, in the 80s. Rossy Hawkey. <laughs> it's the boof. <laughs> <laughs> Gives it a boof. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, sorry, Magno. We're not laughing at you. We're laughing with you. <laughs> I, I'm sure. Yeah, you. yeah. Uh, uh, and he goes, uh, Bennett, having a looky. Uh, well, you got to watch out, don't you, when you're in these man on man heats. You don't want to hand away, uh, you know, a prior priority error. Uh, you know, in this situation, when you're against someone like that, and you hand priority by paddling for a yeah. wave and missing, that can, that can kill you. you can't yeah, it? that can kill you. Exactly. Especially in uh, the dying minutes of a heat. But right now, we've got 15 minutes left. Magno getting a 7.25, no. moving it back up into the lead. How's this? Tussle, mate. That is amazing. I think I, I think it was a pretty good tube. I think it was a nice tube, best tube of the event. Yeah, yeah. Um, standing alone without without the boof that you called it, um, <laughs> you know, it was worth a good score. So <laughs> the judges saw that as well. And Imagine um, if he got a roll in. That would have been up in the eights, eh? That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah it would have been up in the eights. Um, and, you know, like looking at Sam's flip before, they gave that an 8.13, so... 
when you look at those two waves together, it would have been worth a 7.25. So I think the judges were pretty much spot well, on there. Yeah, this is awesome. I am just loving it. And we have uh, stacks more action coming your way, folks. GT versus Yuranga next. Then it's on to Amori versus Houston. <gasps> uh, Hubbard versus McCarthy. And PLC will take on the winner of this one. Yeah, actually, that's that's going to be really interesting. Really good quarterfinals right there. PLC's obviously been surfing really well, winning the whole way through. And, uh, you know, all those guys are surfing so well, so it's going to be great. <laughs> then we got Magno. What he's actually doing there is he's asking for the scores, asking for the priority from the beach commentator. And so you stick your arm up. He's trying to listen in. Look at him. I, I wonder, oh, let's see if we can see his reaction when it gets read out that he got the score. Oh, not much of a reaction. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty composed, these guys. And there's a lot of time remaining with 14 yeah. and a half on the clock. But, That's correct. Uh, and Sammy only needs a 6.4 to move up into the lead. So it's right. not much at all. Very capable of doing that. Well, and, we're gonna, uh, hmm? uh, sorry, mate. I was just going to say, after the uh, men's quarterfinals, we're going to go into the girls' quarters. And uh, United Gear, Sari O'Hara and Teresa Duarte from Portugal will be in the first one. So the girls will be coming up a little later on. But right for now, we're going to continue with the guys. Yeah, the guy's killing it out there. Um, surfing really well today. Good to see some nice clean lines going on. And, you know, not much um, surfing that you kind of like, well, for example, in my heat yesterday, I was pretty disgraced at my performance. So, But here we got Magno, obviously not disgraced at his performance. He's ripping. Oh. Look at that section. Nice clean flip. Oh, jeez. He's going up for another roll straight after that. That's what he was planning. But unfortunately, the section came down on him a little bit too quickly and he got stuck back in that. But look at those waves. There's some beautiful waves. Yeah, there out is there, some isn't there, nice mate? waves. It's only small, but it's super clean and it's, you know, allowing for some uh, good high performance bodyboarding. So That's right. We might have a look at the replay of Magno Oliveira, uh, Magno Passos's last wave. There we go. Beautiful line up into the lip. It was. And uh, he just ripped that around quickly. He was prepared for something else, but that wave did just run off on him a little and probably robbed him of a second maneuver on that one. Nonetheless, he's looking to replace, say, 7.15 as his second best wave. So. Mm, he'll go close, but I don't believe he'll do it. We'll wait and see what the judge's interpretation was. I'll be thinking low sixes or yeah, something like that. that. Yeah, something like that. Actually, I'm, I'm going to say right out of the scoring <laughs> It's a real... What am I doing that for? Don't go down that road, do you? You get yourself in trouble, don't you? <laughs> you probably could, mate. You probably could. <laughs> I'm not saying another score today. I think you did. Today. I think you're in trouble. <laughs> I think you're in trouble. You know yeah. who the best guy... Um, actually, the best guy at um, interpreting what the judges see is Mark McCarthy. Um, you ask him what... What, what he thinks the score will be, and he'll always get a spot on. He's really good at that. He and um, as a result, he's actually, um, what, what, what's yeah, his a, position? Yeah, he's a writer's rep. Yeah, writer's rep yeah. to the judges, and um, he talks about scoring and stuff like that. And, yeah. you know, he's really spot on with it. Well, I said 6-2-5. It was a 5-9. I kind of overscored it a little bit. I, I thought it was going to be shy. It, it, it didn't replace the seven one five. That's the bottom line. And Sam Bennett uh, goes back into a uh, first priority situation. Well, these Europeans, you can see, look at that guy's tan line. I mean, they're just loving it here. They just uh, hang around all day in the sun and just lap it oh, up. Well, they don't, they don't have fair skin like me and you, Tesla. They can stay out in the sun all day and they don't even get sunburnt. Yeah. Lucky buggers. Yeah, that's right. They got the olive skin. Yeah. If you see the beach ball and usually there's a bit of paddle and stuff going on, you know, they, they love the beach culture down here. Yeah. And, uh, how, how good are they with all those beach ball games? Oh, yeah, they love them, don't <laughs> they? And they get around in their little bikinis and... <laughs> <laughs> They're little... What are you allowed to call those things? Uh, budgie smugglers. Budgie smugglers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they love getting around in them. And, uh, yeah, it's a real beach culture here. Like, every afternoon, the people pile into this beach, Praia Grande, down at Sintra. And, um, you know, it's impossible to get a park. You, you have to actually park, like, two kilometres away to get in here. And, um, and yeah, it's like, just gets packed with everyone. I think a lot of people come from Lisbon, which is the uh, capital city here in Portugal and pretty close to here. And uh, they all come out here to the beach. Yep. Go-to beach, isn't it? It's well, it's well publicised. Maybe we got uh, Mega FM uh, broadcasting live from the beach here. They, uh, you know, doing a really good job with the radio station, and um, and then also we've got uh, some really good press, including some billboards on the highways leading in here. Did yeah, you see yeah, all those? Yeah, real yeah. big billboards, yeah. uh, you know, for the contest poster, yeah. and and they're probably watching a live webcast, watching. Tez and myself looking ridiculously hot on the uh, live webcast, so <laughs> I'm just joking, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah. I was thinking before when I saw myself on that screen, I was going like, you know how they say, like, the camera puts on 20 pounds? I was thinking, how many cameras are on me? <laughs> 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 and it's a widescreen as that well. Good, it's mate. killing I like me. That. I, like I got to lay off the cake. Yeah, mate, I'm the same. Oh, it's just the bread <laughs> that you eat here, hey? Yeah, totally. I've actually been making a conscious effort not to eat the bread. Same. 
Yeah. I've just been making conscious effort not to eat. Yeah, right. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> been trying to have salads and stuff like that. Keep yeah, it trim. Yeah. Because it's easy to blow out here. And, uh, you know, you don't want to gain any weight, especially surfing waves like this, because you gain a little bit of weight. And you got to accommodate for that. You got to get more speed to get up through the lip and stuff like that. So yeah, you got totally. to watch that. Yeah, totally. And then the funny thing about it is, uh, you know, I was down there at breakfast this morning, and they have like chocolate cake and um, you know all these chocolate croissants and stuff. They eat a lot of fatty oh, stuff, but yeah. I don't know. It's just different metabolisms. But on screen at the moment, these guys are going all right. It's uh, Magno Passos in the lead. Sam Bennett with first priority is going to... No, it's... No, it must have Magna. must have it, first it must priority. must have been Magna. So take that wave. <laughs> well, he sold him that. And that yeah, was he a, it sold was it a, to him. That's a horrible wave. That's a good move from Sam Bennett. Yeah. How was that? That was really good. Marco's going to be stoked on that one. So that means now that Sam actually has uh, first priority for a wave selection. And um, so he's going to wait out there for a nice wave because all he needs is a 6.4, Tez. Yeah. Yeah, that's not much. And... Uh, yeah, I can imagine Margot Bennett back there giggling. She'd have like a little uh, cardigan on and her own boots on. It's been pretty cold in Australia, hasn't it's it? It's been freezing, that's right. When I got here, uh, you know, a week ago, I was white. People were making fun of me because they're all so brown. And here we got Sammy uh, having a bit of a paddle. Do not do that too much, Sammy. I don't want you to lose priority. Just cruise and wait for the good ones, the ones you know you can flip on. Come on, buddy. And come on, Magno, too. Like, I mean, it is hard when you got heats and you got mates. Like, you're pretty much mates with everyone and you want yeah. everyone to make it. But unfortunately, only uh, one person can make it. And there is, like, to a degree, there's that, you know, patriotism towards your own nationality. And um, and you can't help it but want, you know, your own countrymen quite to go get along. Yeah, that's right. And the, the other thing is is that you quite often know uh, a bit more about the people from your homeland. And, yeah, that's you know, right, I guess. And as a result, it sounds like, you know, you're kind of giving them a bit more stick. But we do our best to try and uh, stay, you know, non-partisan and, and, non and, uh, and again, completely unbiased as far as the commentary goes. But... Yeah, really good heats coming up. GT versus Alex Oranga in the next one. As we said, uh, you know, we've got a Basque country guy and we've got a Brazilian. They've both got a bit of uh, fire in the blood, those guys. They like a little bit of a stoush. It's going to be a good one. I wonder what would happen. What would happen if there was a full-blown fight? <laughs> Afterwards, huh? I don't know. We've uh, <laughs> we've never we've never really experienced yeah, that. We'd have we? to get camera two and camera three down there <laughs> televising that action. Yeah, for that'd us, be huh? awesome. In the red corner, <laughs> representing <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it gets pretty heated sometimes. It definitely does. But the best thing about everyone on tour is that they know that whatever happens out there in the heat kind of stays out of there in the water and it doesn't affect your friendship. And it's really good like that. And um. You know, everyone is pretty close friends, so it's good. Yeah, it was, mate. And, uh, you know, you you said you are a bit disappointed yesterday, obviously, with your heat with Winnie. You and uh, you and he are uh, both mates. And, uh, mate, you gave it a really good shot. That was, he, that, no ways came through during that whole no, thing. Man, it was so hard, it. mate. Yeah, I know. And you I heard you actually, um, Terry was actually commentating, doing the beach commentary for it, and I was like, yeah. oh, because um, Winnie got this really nice left-hander and did a nice big air roll out. And Terry's like, that was one of the only lips I've seen this whole heat. And I was like, oh, that's completely right. There we got Sam. He's looking for a nice little lip. But um, unfortunately, the wave died off on him and pushed away. So, yeah, this is, is where, it, like, I hate to say it, but like a, a really, like, um, season, season campaign, I would... Uh, would have probably waited just there and waited for the wave he needs and not lose his focus because there is still seven and a half minutes left. And, um, you know, if, if like someone like Jeff or someone was in that position, he'd just wait and wait and wait. So Sammy's like, he's only 21 years old. He's still learning a lot. But, um, you know, thank God for me that he's still learning a lot because he's such a good bodyboarder. Yeah, that's and, um, right. You know, it still gives me a shot at trying to beat, beat him. Yeah, so. well, he's a young pup as far as uh, Magno goes, who's very experienced, particularly with man-on-man, -man because, uh, of course, in the uh, Bra Brazilian uh, Confederation, they do a lot of man-on-man -man competition mm -hmm. in their national tour. Yeah. It's something that we probably need to introduce into Australia, I guess, oh, to give the guys a, you know, a bit more experience as they come through, because yeah. all of a sudden you get yourself in a one-on-one -on -one situation and you're, you're like, hey, you just, you know, it's all foreign to you. Well, it is all foreign because um, all of a sudden you're not looking for you know sixes like in a four man heat you can get by sometimes on sixes and sevens because yep. there's like two spots that advance through but man on man it's like win or lose so you can't go into it with that kind of attitude you need to go into it with a much more like oh here we got magno nice little flip definitely looking to build on his scores right now and um jet ski putting a bit of wake into that <laughs> nice reversing one. out of it um it's a nice wave but i dare say uh it's not going to beat his other two scoring waves um, but he's a smart competitor. He's looking to build on it, build on it, build on it. Yeah, five six three didn't fall in the top two, uh, as expected. Bending good call, and uh, well, what that does is shift the powers back to yellow. Come on, and Sammy. with about five and a half to go, 
That's the situation, folks. Magno Passos hanging on to that 7.38. He opened up with that one. Then he backed it up with that 7.15. Uh, you can see good scores there. In fact, best score of the heat was that 8.13 from Sam Bennett. But it's his second best score at the moment, that 6.25 that's hurting him. He needs to just go up a notch on that and take it up to a 6.4 and he'll be the winner. That's right, mate. That's right. I remember actually having a heat with Magno at Box uh, last year. Man, he smoked me. He absolutely scored me. I was in a combination. Score for the whole heat. Oh, we got Sammy going for a little flip. Coming unstuck, unfortunately. Um, okay. The lip kind of landing on his head. Getting a little bit frustrated, as I can imagine, mate. It's well, tough, you know, when he knows he's so capable of getting this 6.4 score and he's just trying to chip away and trying to get it. In this situation, it's uh, pretty easy to, uh, to, to uh, defeat yourself mentally, uh, you know, right about now. What you've got to be saying to yourself is that... Uh, Using a bit of pos positive sort of self psychology on yourself, really. And everybody's got their conscience, you know. I know when I used to compete years ago, Ben, I used to say stuff to myself like, uh, oh, I'm such a kook. Like, look at that other guy's ripping so hard. Yeah. What am I doing here? I'm kidding myself. <laughs> like, all this negative stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you hear that stuff, you've got to just get rid yeah, of it and replace it, it with, I can do this. I can win this yep. seat. I've got good waves with two minutes to go. And he, speaking of good, good waves. Magno Passos looking for a big air roll. How was that foam hitting him up? He did well to come out of that. That was really, really well done. How's this guy's man strength to be able to hold on to that? How was that punch up, huh? And that, that, that whitewash right there is um, what can sometimes snap your boards really easily because you're coming down out of an air and that whitewash is coming up. So it's kind of hitting you with double impact, you know what I mean? You've got gravity and then you've got the foam and um, it's really easy to hurt yourself. And Magno pushing out. Look at that foam pushing up. Yeah. So he did really well to push over the top of that he again. He did. And then the, the, the uh, kaplunk almost got him the as well. The kaplunky, yeah. <laughs> it did almost get him, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, going back to that man-on-man -man thing that we're talking about earlier, yeah. like um, you got to kind of go into those heats thinking eights, nines, yeah. You know, like step it up a little bit more and, and try uh -huh. that a little bit harder, definitely. And so we just heard um, Magno's last wave of that big roll was a six point two, which uh, won't fall into his top two scoring waves, but still a nice. At, at this stage, like Sam only needs a little bit more than that to be able to um to be able to move up into first place. So. All right. He needs to keep his head together and he needs to concentrate on what he needs to do. We've got three minutes left. He's very capable, like we said. He's very capable of getting the score. He just needs to look at the wave and go, okay, flip, not flip. Don't go the ones that you can't flip. Every single wave. And think about how many waves are going to be coming through before the end of the heat. There's going to be a lot of waves and that's all he needs to do to be able to get that score. All right, well, it's a very important uh, three minutes for Sammy Bennett from Port Macquarie. All the uh, crew from PNBO will be back home and uh, just uh, watching this webcast. So good day to everyone from the club. Australia's uh, number one bodyboard club. There's, you know, got a membership of uh, well over 100 there and, uh, you know, one of the best clubs in the world, in fact. And uh, that's the situation. Magno Passos in the lead, looking to replace the 715 and Sammy Bennett needing that 6.4. It's well within striking distance. And he goes, he's Sam. He's looking like he's going to strike. This has a good flip ball. Oh, nice air roll. Come on, mate. What do you got? Double roll. Not bad. If you can finish this off with a third, just push through it. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I, it's going to be a tight one, Tez. I don't well, know. I don't want to make a call. I don't want to influence the judge's opinion at all. It was a nice wave. Um, two minutes of raining. He should still be out there trying to chase down another score. Yeah. Um, um, I guess what, what he's done is he's gone, if I'm going to have to go back out and sit next to that guy with a minute and a half to go, he's just going to work me over anyway. Um, you know, I gave him a best shot on that last wave. It, it'll go close. Um, it could go either way. You know, if I had to lean anyway... I'd be thinking that he's, he's going to come up a little shy. Uh, let's check the replay, Benny. Yeah, so he's driving up nicely into that section. Big air roll. Driving to the next section. Another air roll. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know. He doesn't know. He's looking out the back, seeing what Magno's going to be doing. And, um, you know, we're just waiting to hear scores drop. But, yeah, it's going to be a tight one, Tez. It's no, going to be really super tight. Super tight. So just over one minute remaining. And Unfortunately, scores just dropped. Yeah. He got a 5.28, yeah. just short of what he needed. Um, and there's well, one minute remaining. I think that was pretty good scoring. Uh, I didn't want to sort of uh, point yeah, to, towards so. it, but I thought he was going to come up a bit shy. Uh, two, two, moves, uh, two of the same moves, always mm. not as exciting as if, if he had been able to get back up around and maybe invert or try mm -hmm. something a bit different. A bit mm -hmm. of variation might have got him over the line. But yeah. nonetheless, a great result for the uh, young kid from Port Macquarie. Oh, yeah. But it's all Should academic. Himself. Magno Passos going to move through this one, and he'll move into... Uh, Quarterfinal number four against Pierre-Louis Costes from France.
Yeah, Farah, that's pretty amazing. It's um, These are all shaping up to be really tough heats right now. So, yeah, we'll wait and see what kind of um, pans out in this next, uh, this next heat. Um, so, next heat straight up is Alex Yurunga and Galemi Tamega. Um, really, 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 really important heat for the boys. Um, Alex, you know, is a very capable competitor. Uh, we saw him just knock out Winnie in the last heat. And um, here we got Magno finishing up the heat on the last dying seconds yeah, of the heat. He's, um, he's going to rub some salt into yeah, the wind. I dare say he is. No, he's just, no, not. No. He's just going to come in, just cruising, mate. You've won it. Keep himself uh, in tip-top shape, but, uh, you know, so save his energy. Kind of like you saying, Bolt, 